Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, part two of the grinder rewire, the addendum. So there were two things that I last left off with, two follow-ups. One was I was going to shorten the power cord and get a 90 degree angle, you know, a little plug, and we're going to put some control wire in. So I've done that already. Nothing really to show in, in terms of actually doing it. It's, it's three wires that connect into there. And I, I just cut it down to size and took some measurements so it would be so it would be nice. So the wire is just kind of hanging by the plug and connected into the VFD. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, for the wire over here, I'm going to get an EMT uh, pipe clamp and just kind of screw it in just to hold it a little bit straighter and nicer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap these two control wires with this uh, with this stuff here. I don't know what this is called. It's kind of like a coil, a wire coil or wire binder. So the plan is uh, these are the two wires that are from the drum switch. So we're going to stick them back in the box. We're going to wire tie, um, wire nut them to these two. And then we're going to feed them out of this little elbow. It's a nice smooth elbow. So then the wire with the with the coil will just kind of drape down and we're going to wire it into here. So I'll do all that off camera. I mean, it's nothing to see just to cut and connect a couple of wires. And then uh, and then we'll wrap it up just to give you a, a little bit of a show and show and tell. And we'll check it out and see how it works. I have the cord manufactured now. And when I say manufactured, it's just two, two small thin, these two small thin control wires with the wire wraps. Pretty nice. I left it run wild a little bit over here so I could trim it to length. But I have it run through here, I have it back through here, and uh, wire nutted together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wire back in, close the panel back, and then we're going to wire it up into uh, wire it up into the VFD. We're done now. I connected the control wire up. I secured the wire a little bit better with a clamp. So it's uh, it's done for now anyway. One thing I will do in the future, not on video, I'm going to make this wire a little bit longer. I don't like how sh how short it is. And like I discussed in part one, I want to put some kind of a, an enclosure just to keep the dust out because it's not, <laughs> it's not if it gets in, it's just when it gets in. But without further ado, works. So basically again, in short, the drum switch really just issues a start uh, or a run command and a stop command to the VFD. So you got to put it in the correct terminals. I believe that I believe the terminals are 3 and 5. Now I don't know 100% sure because it might be hard to tell. There's not a very good line of sight between the VFD and the the case here of the of the surface grinder. You're talking about eight inches or so and if you're to squeeze your head in there um, it would be completely blurry which it is for me so what I did was because I had this previously hooked up I went in with my screwdriver and I found the terminals that were loosened up because all the other ones were locked down tight so I found the ones that were loose and then <laughs> then it was a matter of you know if you could see the floor is only I don't know, maybe about 16 inches away from the VFD, so it's very hard to see up into the terminal. So I was literally getting the, the, the wires, and boom, I found a, you know an open open uh, lug to put it into, and um, luckily I I hit the mark right on the first try, so I secured it down and everything like that. So that's it. We're done. The surface grinder works now. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. These, these little improvements, you know, to just make your life easier. There's some scrap that I got to toss. All right, well, another, another job, another part of the initial setup and move is done and in the can. I just need to sweep the floor and clean up a little bit, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.